I talked with John about it because I'm not, I'm not Asian. So I said, well, you're going to have to help me to, you know, to differentiate the characters and to, to understand the backstory of the, the different characters. And he said, well, I'm from Northern California. I don't know either. <laughs> One point two million. That's what I want. The Nick you're dating is Nick Young. Yeah, you guys know them or something. Hell's yeah. I grew up in a town filled with show people, and all they wanted to do was put on plays, and nobody wanted to be the costume designer. So, like at twelve years old, I was the costume designer, and then when I started working in fashion, I thought, well, this is stupid. Where's the script? <laughs> you know how? You know what makes this dress good? I think it's always good to start with the color palette because that's the mood of the film, depending on what the mood is. I know on Crazy Rich Asians, John wanted to start off very different, like almost like The Wizard of Oz. When Dorothy was in Kansas, everything was sepia toned. So when Rachel is in New York, we did everything in black, white, and gray. And then when we go to Singapore, it's more in brighter colors. And I think to me, color reflects the emotional quality of the character. And you're trying to communicate with the audience, you know, through the clothes, through the acting, through the music. I mean, the whole thing is about communicating with the audience. There were so many characters, and I was really concerned nobody's going to know who anybody is because it's a comedy. And I know with comedies, they move really fast. So I talked with John about, well, they need to have really distinct clothes. And if you look at the film, the clothes are almost a bit much. Like if you did it for a drama, it would be overdone. So we tried to kind of push it as far to the edge as possible just to keep the characters separated. John had a very strong feeling of emerald green for Eleanor. Emerald green jade was a very traditional Chinese color of strength and of power. Henry Golding's character, all his clothes were custom made. He would not like go to the local mall and pick up something. But then you had the other family, Picklin's family, where they went out of their way to plaster Gucci on their shirts and all in Versace and their stuff. They celebrated being able to buy expensive clothes. It was a modest budget movie. It was a $30 million movie. We were able to get a lot of really beautiful things for the background and for the for the supporting players. So that a lot of that was all promo, so I could spend my money on like Astrid. We couldn't afford really good imitation jewelry, sort of like high-end fashion jewelry. Michelle Yost said, well, I don't think Eleanor would ever wear anything that wasn't a real, that wasn't real. She wouldn't wear, you know, paste jewelry. So we got real jewelry. The wedding dress, luckily, was gonna be at the end of the movie. And so I had, had gotten like tons of pictures of wedding dresses, every wedding dress in the past 10 years. And we had them hung up on the walls. And at first we thought these big, giant, white wedding dresses were fabulous. And then after a while, everyone was like, oh, it's so dull, it's a big white thing, who cares? When you're designing clothes, you always want to think of the, the actor, because the only reason we're there is to support the actor in their character and to, to make it work for them. And Sonoya was a ballerina, which means she has, she's very strong, she's very graceful, and she has great, you know, beautiful, long ballerina legs. So I thought, well, let's go with her, with what's going to work with her. So we decided to do a open, split open dress. So when she walked on this water, then you know you'd see her legs come out onto it almost, I kept thinking of more like a swan lake. But it had to be a waterproof dress goes to the water because we didn't have time to change her because it took an hour to get her into this thing. So you can't like say, okay, we'll see in an hour. My favorite part is always when we're finished. <laughs> and you get to see the movie on film. And there's something slightly addictive about it, and maybe because it's not all the same. Sometimes it's great, and sometimes it's really hideous. And the, the two things working together kind of make it very dynamic, so it kind of keeps you engaged. <laughs>